Okay, so we're going to be talking about surfaces, and surfaces are great when you're working with slightly more complex geometry. It allows you to work with it a little quicker, like in creating these transitions for a bike frame. We're going to be working our way through the menu so we can get used to all the different tools. And the first one we're going to talk about today is the Surface Extrude. This is going to be extremely similar to extrude of solids. What's different is that when you extrude something with your surfaces, you're going to get a different color. We sketch something, we go to surface, hit extrude and give this a depth. What's different is you'll notice that the ends are not closed off. You'll notice that it has two different colors, this light gray. It has this kind of brownish yellow color. And when you go over to your bodies, you're gonna notice that you only have this orange emblem, which is a surface body. You can think about this as a super thin piece of paper, but you need to think thinner where these literally have no thickness. And why this is kind of cool is it makes editing a little bit easier and we can add back that thickness when we want to. And I can actually use these together to clean up geometry and get rid of geometry. So you can see we've got this more complex shape here and now we can make this solid using something called thicken. We give it a value and now this has been thickened to create a solid. This geometry is now usable. It can be 3D printed, it can be sent to the CNC workspace, whatever you might need to do with it. So surfaces are great for complex shape. It's easier to trim them. It's easier to blend them into other solids. But for today's tool, all you really need to know is that you can extrude just about any sketch. You can use closed sections like a circle. You can also just do a simple spline and then use the surface extrude to give it depth. Just like we've done with other extrude tools, we have the ability to set which direction that it's going to extrude. Is the depth extruding this direction? This direction, do you want different values? In this case, we're extruding two different directions of different depths. We click it and we're gonna get a brand new surface body. When we're in the extrude surface command, one giveaway is you'll be under surface and you'll also be in these orange icons. This orange color is meant to signify that you're working in surfaces. The one thing that you don't have to set anywhere in this feature is the thickness. It's totally acceptable that when you create this new body, there is no thickness to this super thin piece of paper. And how this is different from solids. In the solid workspace, you do have an option of thin extrude, which allows you to extrude something even though you didn't close it off. But what's different is this value of thickness. We can go down to, I think it's 0.001, this is as small as it can go and still be a solid, but with surfaces, you don't have to specify any thickness at all, allowing you more creativity and freedom when you're creating your more complex operations. Hey, so more to come on these surface tools. This is the Surface Extrude. I'll see you in the next video.